This episode of The Totally Rad Show is brought to you by Jack Threads. Coming up on today's TRS, we bring you some hands-on impressions of the video game inversion. Today we have a hands-on preview of a game that's not coming out for 10 more months. Woo. February of next year. So far in advance, I wasn't able to go. You were. <laughs> you were time traveling. I was time traveling. Uh, how is it in the future? It's amazing. That game's out. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, uh, tell us about it. We'll tell you what we. I want to hear what you guys think. He's like an NDA. <laughs> Poor us. We're in the. We're stuck in the present. Where, but we did get a chance to have hands-on uh, with a, a couple of levels of Inversion, which is a game from uh, Bandai Namco. And it's a third-person shooter with a really interesting gimmick where you mess with gravity. So think Gears of War. In fact, it feels very Gears of War. Yes. Uh, but we can mess with gravity. So we've got gravity guns where we can shoot, uh, create pockets of uh, lighter gravity or heavier gravity. Lighter gravity, of course, would raise guys and debris and all kinds of crazy stuff up into the air. Hmm. And heavier gravity, of course, would squash that down so that uh, the guys would have a difficult time getting mm. to you. Uh, you can spike the ground with gravity and annihilate guys in front of you. Uh, you've got a typical uh, Half-Life 2-esque gravity gun where you can pull objects that you've already made lighter to you and then throw them yeah. forward to hurt enemies. And most interesting of all, in my opinion, is you've got these pockets of gravity where it changes the... Uh, what they call them, vectors of, of the way the gravity operates. So you'll be running down a city street, which is one of the levels we saw, this giant skyscrapers on either mm -hmm. side of you. You leap into this blue uh, energy field and it rotates the entire world like that. Mm. So now you are on the side of the skyscraper and d down is up, backwards is forwards, cats, cats and, and dogs, dogs living, living together. together. Uh, and, but meanwhile, There's no some of the dogs in this game, <laughs> and they wouldn't might be. be. <laughs> we didn't see all of it. Uh, <laughs> the but cat it, house with the dogs. <laughs> they don't. Uh, it doesn't change. It only changes gravity for you, for people that have walked through that. So there's still enemies over here on mm -hmm. this plane shooting you, and you can throw a grenade out, and then it'll like get into that gravity and go over there. Hmm. Daniel. Tell me what you thought of our, our hands-on time with Inversion. I have many thoughts, Jeffrey. Well, we Start got with the first we only got a little bit of time here, sir. Um, I, first of all, I, hopefully you guys have seen the trailer. The trailer was a thrilling, exciting, amazing, uh, looks like a wonderful thing, right? The game, first of all, graphics, awesome. Mm -hmm. Especially the character models. Mm -hmm. What did you guys play it on? 360. 360. Okay. Um, Dev kid, I mean, it's very yeah, early yeah, still, yeah, you're yeah. out. But. The premise is that you're like this New York City cop, the, the enemies come and gravity goes nuts and they take your wife or something, you gotta go, like, go get your wife, something like that. The problem for me oh. is that... Is the gravity. No, <laughs> the problem for me is that, okay, wait, you know what, let me say more positives. One, it really, here's, okay, here's the problem. It's very Pretty Gears good. of War, very Gears of War. Yeah, it's a cover-based shooter. You've got exactly the Gears of War control mechanic. You run up, you slam into things. Uh, guys can destroy cover. I think there's more interesting stuff with the cover because gravity so, has right. an effect on it. So it's almost like, well, now I like this more than Gears of War because this is exactly Gears of War, but I can do much cooler stuff than right. it's in Gears of War. And it's a little bit of like turn it on its head because now I'm not just shooting guys in the distance, I'm shooting guys in the distance, but they're on another plane. But on the flip side, I'm really just shooting guys in the distance even though they're on another plane, it's just guys in the distance because it's in that formula of game. Gears of War brings to the table huge set piece moments and set piece ideas of levels. Um, hopefully this game has it too. It's early, I don't know. Hopefully that game has it too. But it's certainly not. the two levels that they showed us, one being skyscraper, cityscape, the other being underground, hellish sure. lava. When you go to a different gravity, lava is like flowing sideways. Yeah. And look cool. No, it looks cool, but I mean like Gears of War has like, you're riding on the thing, and then you're, in the, you know, you're like on the elevator taking you down. Like everything's like, feels like you're different, and you know. Mm. This just felt like, okay, I'm in a new looking area, but I'm doing the same kind of stuff, except now I have gravity. What I wanted out of the game, here's the thing. 
What I wanted, I think it looks cool. And this might be, if this doesn't get a lot of buzz, I think it's gonna blow people away when it comes out. I think if it gets a lot of buzz, it may be a little bit underwhelming. Well, it's interesting, so I, real quick, yeah, that yeah. they, uh, it's February. It's not Christmas. Hmm. It's not holiday. So they are maybe trying to like swoop in. I think in. It's, it's in that like, you know, post lull where, where, where Killzone came out, where like it's still high quality titles, but hmm, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. Not, not in the scrum <clears throat> of holiday. Interesting. So the trailer for the game has some live action scenes in it where it's like real day New York City and it feels like there's an alien, and like all of a sudden physics goes wrong and then it feels like an alien invasion's happening except it's not like flying saucers or it's like yeah. a truck is like up in the air and it gets slammed into a building, you know? And when they were pitching us the game, they told me how you're a New York City cop and you, you know, but then you get this weapon. Like that is, co the fact that it's like, it, it, it was sort of grounded in a reality for me. Yeah. And what I guess <clears> you're what not I, a space marine. What? Are, yeah. But you know what? You are a space marine. It mm. just you have. <clears> they tell you you're a cop, and maybe you have a cop outfit underneath your gravity situation. Adhesive, but you sure. might as well be a war. You might as well be a soldier. Yeah. Like what I wanted was un uncharted. You know what I wanted was third person action, which by the way has cover, has a lot of those gears like elements, but. I'm like I want gra I want to be like running around and traversing, and then also I hit a gravity pocket. Now I'm like on the gravity. Look, so maybe it's a little bit like um, uh, Infamous or whatever. Like <clears throat> I can really use gravity things as opposed to instead of a bullet, it's gravity. You know what I mean? Like instead of you know gravity basically is almost like a slow motion button in this game because oh. it just makes people slow down. You know what I mean? Like I I want it to really feel like I'm a I'm just an ordinary guy and I'm trying to get out of the situation. Yeah. And instead I'm like. I'm a, I'm, Less generic, John McClane I'm a generic more. soldier again, yeah. and I'm just in a formulaic game. Well, you're basing it on to, two levels that were not. What do you think, Jeff? Without goes without saying. What do you think, Jeff? Uh, I think I'm a little more positive on it than you. I mean, it, it, I think you're gonna really like it. I love Gears of War. You I love, love Gears of Cover, War. and it feels I'm like so Mr. much Covers. like Gears of War, even to the point where the way you shoot, the way the guns feel, the way you shoot the guys, and the blood splurts out. You know how. Gears of War, you kind of shoot people and it's almost uh, like they are inflated with blood and yeah. you're just letting it out of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, totally. It's, it's got that same yeah. f exact feel. Uh, and I like how the guys aren't dude bros, or at least don't seem to be dude bros. Uh, they're more yeah. average run of the mill guys, but I see where you're coming from on that. Uh, and I, I found all of the, you know, the, the first moment where you go into the thing and, the, and you're on the side of the sky, skyscraper and there's still guys yeah. on the ground trying to attack you, yeah. that's a really cool mechanic. Yeah. And if they can push that really far, and, yes. and there's a, a point where uh, in the underground level, where you're, you go to the side and you know, everything goes to the side, and then all of a sudden you go again and now you're on the ceiling, but that's the floor for you and you're fighting guys that are still on the floor for them. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's a little mind bendy, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but um, it's a in, a, in a great Richie way. Video, but yeah, it's a little rich. It's a party on the ceiling. Yeah, what man. Is it? um, it's, it's a party on the ceiling. That's the Lionel Richie song. <laughs> what is this? The dancing little, on the dancing ceiling. Dancing on the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's a party. Hey, it's involved. a party on the ceiling. <laughs> Lionel Richie said it. Yeah, you know, I, I thought it. I thought it. <laughs> the most impressive thing to me is that the game looked and played great. Yeah. Hmm. To the point where I even asked, "What are you, what are you going to do with the next ten months?" Yeah, right. What did they say? And she said, ba "Balance, polish, balance, polish." Which is wow. great. Which That's is great. exactly what you want. You want a long development period where, you know, past functional. Right. Yeah, where yeah. you can really make a game tight and good. And and I'm hoping, you know, they, she said they're going to announce some big stuff at E3. We'll, All right, we'll multiplayer. Yeah, yeah. That could be cool. I, supposedly the multiplayer is going to have some new element to it. Yeah, I assume gravity. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it also has drop in, drop out co-op. Amazing. I'm in. Is, uh, I'm in. All Brechtian box. Yep. Point. Yep. Um, so I have high hopes for it. I think I, I think it looks it looks great already. Yeah. It it plays solid. You know, it's got all the gears of war. It's got your four weapon shotgun grenades. I mean, it is literally gears of war with gravity. Yeah. yeah. And that's and, a, not a good, not a bad thing. And like you don't disagree with me, I don't disagree with you. I ju and it's a shame that I'm saying I wish I, I just wanted more out of it because if I were there, I'd be like, we freaking yeah. gave you gravity and gears of war. Yeah, yeah. What else do we need to do? Yeah. But horses? We don't. <laughs> I, it just felt so hey, modular, and I wanted really to have gravity. You know, I didn't want. It's like giving me a grappling gun that just gets me from point A to point B. I want to feel the grappling gun like they used in Bionic Command. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's, it's the difference between just having it in there as an analog for another weapon, you know, or another yeah. thing. I want to really feel it and be involved. It's like in having it. a gravity gun that only, or a, a grapple gun that only can grapple on those certain moments. Yes. And 
and you're like, well then, like, just put a ladder. It doesn't matter. Uncharted you know and I mean? Gears have similar <clears throat> mechanics. You have hug cover and all that stuff. But isn't Uncharted, you can do, you feel like you're on an adventure. Yeah. First of all. You don't feel like you're, you know, and you can do anything at all times. You know, you can like swoop in and fight the guy. You can move, you know, and it's like, you just feel like you're you're controlling a guy. Whereas in Gears, you're just moving from point A to point B, even even though Gears is awesome. Yeah. Don't you guys agree? The, the difference between Uncharted and Gears or? Well, yeah, there's I think there's more between, adventure yeah. and but Gears even is more the, straight action. Even yeah. the gameplay is different. Even though they're similar, they're different. Yeah, yeah, but I never really, I was never a big fan of the gameplay of, of Uncharted. I was always like, well, it's a great action story, and that and the traversal is what it is, but the shooting is not as yeah. much fun as Did Gears. Wait, wait, so that's how that? I well, I would agree that. that the shooting is not as much fun, but I think one is trying to give you a kick-ass action experience, and one has is, is got an action-adventure right, experience. Exactly, which yeah. is great. I mean, that's what I... And you were looking for more adventure in your yeah, action. Yeah, but also I want the action to be... Not, a, not the shooter. Adventurous. Action. Like, so it's not just shooting, whereas Gears is just shooting. Yeah. I'm trying to, it's like, shooting, fighting, I'm jumping on this to get to higher, to, or sliding, you know, da, 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 you know, all this stuff. Like, I have control of my guy who can do amazing, cool gravity things, theoretically, <laughs> nah. right? Whereas this is just, no, I'm just shooting a gravity bullet. Oh, you're Got saying, gra yeah, gravity is used to destroy the enemy rather than to and experiment in the gravity and like, world. And like, and, like, and, like, just go on this, you know, do awesome stuff. <laughs> he needs more candy land. Well, he needs more candy again, land. we'll be checking back in with this game, I'm sure, a lot on its uh, road to release next February, but it's cool that we get to see it so early. Totally. Booyah. Remember everybody to stick around for this day in rad history, but first, our sponsor, Jeffrey Canada. If you're like me, you spend most of your day playing video games, mm -hmm. watching movies, mm -hmm. enjoying yourself, mm. gallivanting around the apartment. Mm. And then you realize, if I'm gonna go outside and, and get food, mm. I'm gonna need clothes. Correct. And I wanna look fly. Correct. Right? It's not easy. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're in 1982, but yeah. I don't want to schedule let him, in. Let him be fly. <laughs> I don't want to schedule in shopping because shopping is bohoring. Mm. Guess what? We have a solution to that very problem, and it's called Jack Threads. Jack mm. Threads mm. is a members only online shopping club that does all that dirty work. I love it. For you. But even better than that, mm -hmm. it saves you money. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite thing to say. I signed up for Jack's Threads. Every single day, I get an email. Jack's Threads. I look at it on my iPad machine, and I, it's like, new email, and it's got all these fly clothes that are so fly <laughs> that I want to wear them, uh, and it's got up to like 80% off what I would pay in a store. It's got really cool brands, such as, allow me to en enunciate some of them, Kid Robot, mm. The Hundreds, mm. perhaps you've heard of American Apparel, yeah, I went there. It's the place to go to get you. You get this email, and you can select, and you can, and they send it to you, and you get a discount on top of everything. The only catch, Amazing. what's the only catch, Alex? It's not available to people. <laughs> it's not, except you people. Ah, oh, that's you, beautiful, <laughs> wonderful people that watch the Totally Rad Show. You are in luck because Jack Threads has got a hookup for our fans. If you go to jack jackthreads dot com slash trs or French you can, Jacques Threads, Jacques Threads, <laughs> you can become a member right away. You don't have to wait in the stupid line. Lines are for suckers or non fans. Did we mention it's free? Yes, we did. We didn't. Well, now we did. <laughs> All right. Go to jackthreads.com slash GRS and you will instantly start saving without having to leave the house. Amazing. Uh, like my I, favorite kind of thing. I criticize you for saying fly on the show called The Totally Rad Show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Well, this Totally Rad Show shall be back tomorrow. Hup. Yeah, that's a threat. Tomorrow on TRS, we play charades. Today is April 14th, which it turns out is a pretty big day for moving pictures. Double dose. Back in 1894, it was the first public showing of Edison's kinetoscope, which mm -hmm. was moving pictures. And then, flash forward to 1956, videotape is the first is first publicly demonstrated in Chicago. That's crazy. crazy. That's a big one-two punch. Yeah. So moving pictures began and then came Progressed. into your home. Came into your yeah. face. I wonder if it was timed, like when they unveiled it. Probably. Like, like, People of America, yeah. you know. I'm certain that they were aware yeah. of yeah. that. That's a big happening. PR push. 50 years ago, like, I want to announce it. Edison's kinetoscope. Today. <laughs> so Today, I still talk like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, thank you, at Sven893. Sven. He was probably mad at our Swedish comments earlier. He wasn't listening. <laughs> no.